welcome to the stage, Carl Fawcett. Happy New Year and all that. Everyone have a good Christmas? Yeah? Yeah? yeah. yeah. We'll get lots of lovely presents? Yeah? No, I didn't. No, um, every year I ask for the same thing, and every year the fat bearded cunt lets me down. And she has the cheek to call herself my mother. <laughs> <laughs> but of course it's that time of year when people are doing uh, New Year's resolutions. Uh, don't worry, I won't embarrass anyone by asking who's already failed at theirs. Uh, no, I thought it'd be more fun to suggest what other people's New Year's resolution should be. So, let's start with Des. Um, firstly, well, actually, I was going to say uh, less buys, more jogging. Uh, but now I think I should just be stop telling everyone that I've got fucking syphilis, please. <laughs> uh, Kyle, stop playing with it, it'll fall off. Uh, Blondie, don't wear so much makeup, you don't need it. Your missus doesn't either. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, Sorry. No, but um, a lot's been going on, hasn't it, since, uh, since uh, well, I was last year. Um, bushfires in Australia, that was fucking tragic. Um, you see, apparently, they think up to about half a billion animals died in those fires. And, of course, not to be outdone, once they heard that half a billion brown fuzzy things had perished, the Americans launched an attack on Iran. <laughs> oh, can we get away with that? No? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, you've got to be careful. Obviously, Harry and Meghan have had to uh, flee the country because of all the racism they've had to endure. You'd think the ginger cunt would be used to it by now. <laughs> <laughs> no, best of luck to him, I say. Um, but the only thing that does piss me off about that is that they have stepped back from their duties right at the same time when all of us fuckers have to go back to work, which really just rubs it in, doesn't it? Um, but I don't mind going back to work. It means that I get to do my favourite thing in the world, uh, which is riding the bus. Nice. Yes. Because I like to treat it as a sort of an anthropological expedition. Uh, because nowhere will you find a more comprehensive study of the impact that austerity has had than you will on the journey from Hemel to Stevenage. <laughs> uh, of course, at the back, you've got the cool kids uh, that have been so starved of any culture. The only entertainment they can muster for themselves is the constant dinging of the fucking bell. Ding, 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 ding. Either that or they've set off the dickhead detector. Uh -huh. And then at the front, in a damning indictment into the uh, state of mental health charities in this country, yes, we've got the nutter holding court with anyone that will listen to her. And in the space of a 45 minute journey, uh, I discovered that, well, one, she had a dog called Millie, and two, that dog knows exactly where to find her G-spot. <laughs> no, seriously. Sat next to her, there's a skinhead reading the sun, and even he thought, fucking white people. <laughs> uh, but eventually got to work, because uh, I don't always do this, uh, for years, worked in retail. Can give us a shout? Anyone work in retail? Mm. Oh, we got one over there. Uh, so the rest of you have all got proper jobs, yeah? Now I say that because you say retail and people here, Saturday job. Uh, but we are open other days of the week. Uh, yeah, we were open uh, New Year's Day. Had all those people coming in going, oh, I'm surprised to see you, you're open today. Uh, yeah, that's because you fucking idiots have come bloody shopping, haven't you? It's, um, but no, just a, a couple of tips um, if you do work in retail, this is all for you. Uh, firstly, it helps if you can speak fluent dickhead. Uh -huh. uh, and secondly, if you can read minds, because uh, I get a lot of people asking for a thing. And of course, if I can't find said nondescript thing, uh, that's when the customer wants to speak to the manager. Like I'm supposed to be scared because you want to speak to the manager. Yeah, me and the manager, we've both been there for a while now. He thinks I'm a dickhead, I think he's a dickhead. The one thing we do have in common though, we both think that you are a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> but um, if you do ever find yourself as a customer in my shop, um, I've got some advice for you as well, um, because I love you and you need it. Uh, so never, under any circumstances, ever take the free samples, okay? Because um, yeah, they do make us wear rubber gloves and we have to use tongs when we're putting them out. Um, but once I roll on those rubber gloves, uh, the first thing I do is shove my hand straight down the back of my ass crack. Oh. <laughs> well, where do you think I keep the tongs? 
Thanks very much. Uh, stick around for more coming up.